A factor is a number which divides into another number exactly. The number 1 is a factor of every number. Every number has itself as one factor. Here's an example. 20 can be divided completely by 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. Therefore, the factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5 and 10 and 20. Here is two more examples. Determine whether 12 is a factor of 36. The solution is 36 divided by 12 equal to 3. Thus, 12 is a factor of 36 because 12 can divide 36 exactly. The second one, 7 is a factor of 343. Solution is 343 divided by 7 equal to 49. Thus, 7 is a factor of 343. Determine whether each of the following numbers is factor of the number in the brackets. 12 and 40. So the solution is 40 divided by 12 equal to 10 over 3, which is a fraction because 12 cannot divide 40 exactly. Therefore, 12 is not a factor of 40. B. 50 divide 5 equals to 10. 5 is a factor of 50. C. 8 and 24. 24 divide 8 equal to 3 not a fraction or a decimal so 8 is a factor of 24 list all the factors of each of the following numbers a 15 so the solution is 1 times 15 equals to 15 3 times 5 equals to 15 so the factors of 15 are 1 3, 5, and 15 itself. B, 98. Solution is 1 times 98 equal to 98. Then 2 times 49. 7 times 14 equal to 98 so the common the factors are 1 2 7 14 49 and 98 C 51 1 times 51 equal to 51 then 3 times 17 So we just list down the factors which is 1, 3, 17 and 51 itself. D, 40. 1 times 40 equal to 40. Then 2 times 20 equal to 40. 4 times 10 equal to 40. 5 times 8. The factors are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. Prime factors. Determine whether each of the following numbers is a prime factor of 84. So the smallest prime factor is 2. Determine whether 2 and 3 is a prime factor of 84. We solve A first. 84 divided 2, which is a prime number, equals to 42. Thus, 2 is a prime factor of 84. Because 2 is a prime number. B. 84 divided 3 equal to 28. It is a, uh, 3 is a prime number 
Thus, 3 is a prime factor of 84. Express each of the following numbers in the form of prime factorization. Means prime numbers times prime number times prime number. A, 42. The solution is 42 divided by 2 is 21. Then 21 divided by 3 is 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. Therefore, 2 times 3 times 7 equal to 42. You write the answer like 42 equals to 2 times 3 times 7. B. 135. So, 135 cannot divide 2 or 3. The smallest prime number is 5. 135 divide 5 is 27. 27 can divide 3. 27 divide 3 equal to 9. 9 divide 3 equal to 3. Then 3 again become 1. The answer is 135 equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 5. C. 120. 120 can divide 2. 120 divide 2 equal to 60. 60 is an even number, can divide 2. 30 divide 2, 15. 15 divide by 3 is 5. Then 5 again. So the answer is 120 equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. A number which is a factor of two or more numbers is called a common factor of those numbers. For example, 6 is one of the factors of 12. 6 is also one of the factors of 18. It means that 6 can divide 12 exactly and 6 also can divide 18 exactly. Therefore, 6 is a common factor of 12 and 18. Determine whether each of the following numbers is a common factor of the list of numbers in the brackets. A. 7 Open bracket 28, 35, 91, and 105. So we have to determine whether 7 is a factor of 28, 35, 91, and 105. To, to find out, we have to take 28 divided 7 equal to 4. Then 35 divided by 7 equals to 5. Take 91 divided by 7 equal to 13. And 105 divided by 7 is 15. The answer is yes. 7 is a factor of all the numbers in the bracket. B. 9 open bracket 18, 36, 108, 119. So we have to find out whether 9 is a factor of the numbers in the bracket. 18 divided 9 equal to 2. 36 divided by 9 equals to 4. Then 108 divided 9 equal to 12. Lastly, 119 divided by 9 equal to 119 over 9 which is a fraction so the answer is no 9 is not a factor of all the numbers in the bracket list all the common factors of each of the following list of numbers a 12 and 30 so we have to list down all the factors of 12 and all the factors of 30 1 is a factor of 12 and 30 
then is 2 because they are both even number then 3 3 can divide 12 equal to 4 okay the next one 4 can divide 12 but 4 cannot it's not a factor of 30 so let's continue with 5 5 is not a factor of 12 is a factor of 30 then 6 is a factor of 12 and 30 so the answer the common factor of 12 and 30 is 1 2 3 and 6 B 110 210 360 and 440, uh, 540 same, we have to list all the factors for these numbers. So the first factor is 1. Second one is 2 because they are all even numbers. Then 5 which can... 5 can divide 2. 5 is a factor of 210. 360 and 540 or so. The next one is 10. All these numbers. Ten is a factor of all these numbers. So the answer is 1, 2, 5, and 10. C 84, 132, 300 and 360. Same, we have to list down the factors of 84, 132, 300, and 360. So the first factor is always 1. Next is 2. 84 can divide by 3. One, same goes to 132, 300, and 360. Okay. 84 can divide by 4 same goes to 132 300 and 360 next is 5 84 cannot divide 5 so let's proceed to 6 84 can divide 6 132 so 300 and 360 can 84 cannot divide 7 8, 9, 10, 11 you can divide 12 so 84 divide 12 132 300 and 360 so the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 highest common factor HCF the highest common factor of two or more numbers is the largest common factor of those numbers for example, determine the HCF for 12 and 28. So we can list down the factors for 12 and 28 and find the highest common factor. The factor of 12 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. The factors of 28 is 1, 2, 4, 7, 40 and 28. So the common factor is 4. The highest common factor is 4. By using a suitable method, find the highest common factor of each of the following list of numbers. A. 24 and 48. So 24 and 48 can divide 2. The answer is 12 and 24. 12 and 24 can divide 2 again. It will become 6 and 12. Divide 2 again, become 3 and 6. 3, 6 cannot divide 2, can divide 3. So 3, 3, divide by 3 is 1. 6 become 2. So the HCF for 24 and 48 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. equal to 24 B 
42, 54, and 84. 42, 54, and 84 can divide by 2. 42 divided by 2 equals to 21. 54 become 27. 84 become 42. Again, divide by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 27 become 9. 42 become 14. So, it's only up to here. So, the HCF for 42, 54 and 84 is 2 times 3 equals to 6. At a Hari Raya party, Mark Mina prepared 45 pieces of kue gochi, 75 pieces of kue taco, and 90 pieces of curry puffs. She wished to serve all the food on some plates. What would be the maximum number of plates needed if all the food was distributed equally on all plates? So we have to find the HCF for 45, 75 and 90 because she wished to serve all the food on the same plates in the same amount. So 45, 75, 90 divide by 3. 45 become 15, 25, 90 become 30. The next one is 5. 15 divide 5, 3, 25 become 5, 30 become 6. So HCF is 3 times 5 equals to 15. So Mark Mina can serve 15 plates.